Hi and good afternoon. My name is Matt Meese and I am the owner and operator of RussianBrilliance.net. We specialize in custom design wedding anniversary and special occasion fine jewelry made from solid gold or platinum. And all of the center stones are the world's finest simulated diamonds, Russian Brilliance simulated diamonds. I want to talk today about an issue which always bugs me. When I'm looking online and I find lots of people that sell imitation or simulated diamonds, a lot of them will say, our stones cut glass, as if that was some measure of how fine a simulated gemstone they are. And it bugs me because almost all gemstones will cut glass. Uh, gemstones are measured on a hardness scale called the Mohs hardness scale, M-O-H-S, and diamond is the hardest mineral substance known to man, and it's given a top rating of 10 on the Mohs hardness scale. Uh, all other gemstones have lower grades. Uh, sapphire and ruby are 9 on the Mohs hardness scale, and almost all other gemstones that are popular in fine jewelry uh, have a less than an 8 on the Mohs hardness scale in terms of their hardness. Uh, the problem with saying that your simulated diamond cuts glass and therefore it's more like a natural diamond than somebody else is that glass is only a 6.5 on the Mohs hardness scale. And practically every popular colored gemstone that you've ever seen or heard of whether it's amethyst or blue topaz or tanzanite or whatever, is harder than a six and a half on the Mohs hardness scale. What does that mean? That means they'll cut glass. And practically every simulated diamond that's on the market, whether it's Russian Brilliance or any one of our many competitors, they're all harder than a six and a half on the Mohs hardness scale. Russian Brilliance is eight and a half on the Mohs hardness scale, so it absolutely will cut glass. So my point here today is when you read on a simulated diamond website that their gemstone will cut glass, it's not any indication of any kind of the quality of that simulated stone. It has nothing to do with the beauty of it, how well it's cut, or anything like that. It's an old wives' tale. It's an old sales technique. And please don't be fooled by it. Don't be confused by it. Dig deeper. Ask more questions. There are other things that are much more important when it comes to purchasing and selecting a simulated diamond, and we hope you will consider Russian brilliance. Thank you very much.